charge with our Unspun segment. And here now are Scott Ross, Executive Director of One Wisconsin Now, and Bill McCaution, Managing Partner of Capital Consultants. Thank you both so much for being here. Let's start with the statewide race. This is for Supreme Court incumbent Justice Ann Walsh Bradley up against Rock County Circuit Judge James Daly. Uh, this is a nonpartisan race. Certainly hasn't seemed like it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think we've never seen uh, somebody so cling to a political party as James Daly did with the Republicans this time. It's very interesting. It's an interesting, it's interesting strategy. Um, I think his attacking Dane County in a way that politicians usually don't do in a statewide race is also interesting. But, you know, it's going to be a low turnout race, so anything can happen. We'll see, you know, where, where the votes come. Yeah, ultimately, ultimately, a race like that is about the incumbent. If you're the challenger, you've got to make it about the incumbent. I'm not sure uh, Judge Daly did all he needed to do to win. We'll see, I guess, in a few hours. Yes. Uh, but as Scott said, it's going to come down to turn on. And if they ID'd their voters and turned them out today on what's a dark, dreary day, and most people are still sad about the Badger loss last night, you know, anything can happen. Can you speak to the turnout and knowing that there are people right now who might be watching about why it's so important for people to take the time? Well, I think especially in a race like this where turnout tends to be lower, your voice matters more than it might in a, you know, in a yeah, regular November election, right? Yeah. So there's a real yeah. opportunity there. But again, what we see is in Wisconsin, we have the second highest turnout in presidential elections in the country and the second biggest drop off in non-presidential elections. So people should get out there and vote. Well, it's part of your duty. And if you, my, my uh, saying is if you don't vote, you can't complain, right? So, I mean, th these are the people that serve in very important positions, particularly the Supreme Court deals with things like Act 10 and voter ID, and if uh, you care about those issues, then James Daly's probably your candidate. Let's also talk about the constitutional amendment referendum. This is also statewide. Uh, this is basically saying how the justices will choose the chief justice. Right now it goes based on seniority. They're wanting to uh, get rid of that, people who are in support of this referendum. How do you guys see this issue stacking up tonight? I think this is one where the business community actually did invest some resources to try and make this happen. I think they were they sort of hedged their bets on the Supreme Court race, whether or not they could defeat an incumbent, which, by the way, is pretty tough. It's only happened once in Wisconsin in the last 40 years. Um, so the business community made a big investment on this, and the, the hope, of course, is to get Shirley Abramson out from being the chief uh, justice of the Wisconsin Supreme Court. After all, I mean, seniority is just one factor. I mean, competence should matter. The person that has the best leadership skills and the ability to lead those on the court, that should matter, and that's what this is all about tonight. Yeah, and I think that's, you know, I think that's where uh, some on the left are particularly perplexed by this. I mean, the business community, WMC, didn't come out against Shirley, uh, Justice Abramson, in 2009, but now they seem to be trying to undo that election with a $600,000 uh, expenditure to try and, you know, take that voice out of the out of the people's hands, essentially. And, I, and so we'll see. That's going to be the, that's really, I think, a real interesting thing that could happen this evening. Yeah, I think that's probably the biggest race of the night, ultimately. Let's talk about some of the local races. We're looking at a number of mayoral races. We have Madison. We have some contested races in some of the suburbs. What do you guys expect tonight locally? Well, we got three contested ones, one here in Madison. Uh, the expectation, I think, is that incumbent Mayor Paul Soglin will be reelected. We got uh, incumbent Mayor Sean Paff well, in the race of his life in Fitchburg. And then uh, the incumbent in Sun Prairie has already been defeated in the yeah, primary. Yeah. So, I mean, those are the top three mayoral races in the area. And, uh, you know, I think as it relates to Fitchburg and Sun Prairie, anything can happen. As it relates to Madison, I expect the incumbent to win tonight. Do you agree with that expectation? I think he's got, you know, I mean, I, I think that uh, Resnick had an uphill challenge, you know, going against the name that everybody knows here, been on the ballot, like, you know, a million times, time. right? You know? <laughs> Eighth term, I, since I, I was yeah. in fourth grade. And so I think he had an uphill battle, but, you know, you always got to take your hat off for people who, ru who run for office and who take that shot. You know, who knows what will happen? And again, in a low turnout election, anything can happen. Scott, Bill, thank you both so much. Stay with us for your election coverage. Scott and Bill will be back at 10 to analyze the re election results as they come in. We'll be right back.